Pyraking Studio. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Pyraking Studio. This time we have some ways to check the LED light. Originally, I saw that the LED patch cannot be replaced. After a few days of testing, I came up with some of a method to solve this problem, which the Lambert inspection method should in previous video and SMD soldering in this video. Basically, you don't need to buy the light bulb. Let's see how to deal with it now. How to replace the lamp bits on the bulb. Alright, here we go. I opened the lamp housing with a head gun at first. Of course, you can hit it in other ways. The lamp housing will open better after hitting. After the crack appears, use a flathead screwdriver or a bread to pry it open. Now we can see the lamp bits and the heat dissipation substrate. Remove excess silicone. In order to ensure the correctness of the reinstallation after repair, use a multimeter to confirm the correct position of the power cord. Make a mark with your mark pen after confirmation. Use an electric soldering iron to desolder the power cord. Adding a little solder oil will be better for soldering. Now pry open the heat sink. What we see now is the power supply module. I suggest you don't take it apart. The specification of the LAN bit has been classified as length and width. 2835 patch is used here. So before you buy, measure the size of the LAN bits. We are here to share four kinds of LAN bits soldering and desoldering method. First is the gas blowtorch. Adjust the appropriate firepower to hit the lamp bit you want to remove. After about two or three practice sessions, success will reach 100%. Use the pin set again the patch when the temperature is high enough it will fall off. Now we remove the first patch. Then I move the board touch under the heat sink. Now we removed the second piece. Try to remove the next one with the seed again. The second method is to use the head gun. My experience is that it must be hit from the bottom. 
The temperature is set at 500 degrees and the wind speed is adjusted to the highest. The advantage of this method is that the heat source can be concentrated. We removed another one. Now we use the third method to apply with an electric soldering iron. Take off the tip of the soldering iron first to avoid coating your cell. Clamp the heat sink with the dovetail clamp and press it directly on the soldering iron. This method is similar to the heating table, so it is very efficient. Remove it like this when desoldering. The way is most efficient and highest success rate. You see, it, it is still work. Now take out my secret weapon. This is a lighter. Really? Use a lighter? Believe me, this one is great, okay? Look, we remove the patch. I didn't lie to you. One more. You see, right? And it is still work. Oh, fall away. This is the light bulb from the previous episode. Now solder the recycled patch on it. Remove the heat sink after the power cord is desoldered. Now we use a hot air gun to solder the patch. Remove the last patch residue after heating. Hey, some new solder. Remove the excessive team and start soldering the patch. Suit by myself, the angle is not good. But you should also see that it is not very difficult. Check to see if we succeeded. Wow, great! LED has the problem of a brightness decline. You can take a piece of clothes to cover it to observe which lamp bit is not bright enough. If there is no problem with the test, we will combine it and fix our first lamp today. Hey, wait a minute, don't go away, there are more powerful ones later. Pirate King's mana is getting stronger and stronger. He is turning into a magic angel. After a few days, the 2835 lamp beads we ordered can lamp be with 1 watt power, including transportation cost about 3 cents per lamp. Every action network is selling.
There are 50 lamp bills which cannot be used up in a year. Now use the magnet and the soldering iron to combine a heating table which is more efficient. Oh, Pirate Kim, this is too cheap. Don't look down on it, viewers. It's actually too powerful. Come on, let's start soldering. Two pieces. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, I don't count yet. It will be finished soon. We are cleaning the soldering oil on it. After the solder oil is heated, the heat sink will change color. Let's test her again before reinstalling. Great. Okay, start reinstalling. Just apply a little silicone and cover it. Now we detect the numberable patch is repressed and the date of repair. So that I can tell you the result of the test next time. Connect the power to test it. Awesome will succeed again. Trice will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pirate King Studio can also improve your repair ability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time.